The COVID-19 crisis has exposed South Africa's weak economic fundamentals. South Africa was already growing more slowly than its peers when the pandemic hit. Without deep structural reform, its average long-term growth rate is a miserly 1.9%. This is significantly below any rate that would alleviate poverty, reduce inequality, and grow employment. Two recent reports from the Institute for Security Studies use the International Futures Forecasting System to model and present an alternative aspirational vision for South Africa called Tumamina, or Send Me. The Tumamina scenario unlocks long-term growth by modeling the impact of transitions in health and education, resolving the electricity crisis to enable modern industrialization, and implementing rural land reform to transform livelihoods in the former homelands where poverty is endemic. More than half of South Africa's total population live in extreme poverty, surviving on an average income of less than $5.50 per person per day. Social grants alleviate the symptoms of suffering, but the only structural solution to the dilemma is job growth in the formal sector. That, in turn, requires sustained rapid economic growth over successive decades and for that growth to be inclusive. President Cyril Ramaphosa has committed to use the coronavirus crisis as an opportunity to build a pro-growth social compact. This, combined with the implementation of evidence-based economic policies, could boost South Africa's economy to be almost 50% larger within two decades compared to the current growth forecast. Beyond determined leadership and significant government reform, the Tumamina pathway requires better management and efficiency in the public health sector, whilst lowering costs in the private sector. In education, South Africa must improve graduation rates, focus on quality, and invest in the skills for the fourth industrial revolution. In energy, the country must pursue a least-cost energy solution predicated on renewables and shift away from fossil fuels. In manufacturing, South Africa must invest more in research and development, accelerate the expansion of information and communications technology infrastructure, and promote value-added goods for export to the African market. In agriculture, the country must support land and smallholder agricultural reform in the former homelands by providing tenure security. In addition, it must support commercial agriculture, reduce food waste and improve water management. None of this is possible without a forward-looking pro-growth social compact combined with the implementation of evidence-based economic policies. Read the full report on the ISS website at www.issafrica.org.